Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our first full case break of the brand new 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. We're doing all 12 boxes. Pick your team number one on the 18th, the Wednesday. Torsten from Germany with the last spot mojo. We do broadcast from coast to coast and all around the world, ladies and gentlemen. No lie. There's everybody else. Good luck to Torsten and Last Bot Mojo. Good luck to everybody. Thank you very much for getting into this. There's plenty more in the store and plenty more that's not on the website, boys and girls. So there will, if you missed out on your team in the first few breaks, don't worry. There'll be more. And after we sell out of those, we'll probably get more. This has always been a pretty popular product since it was first released. So all 12 boxes we're going to do here. Now we've got Otani on the front. We've got two autographs per box on average. And someone help me keep track of the, uh, the hot boxes too. There's two parallel hot boxes and two autograph hot boxes. This is perfect for, uh, for the second half of the baseball season too. Perfect timing for this product. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I guess I can admit it now. I think ESPN has said it, and I, I got an alert from the from the Los Angeles Times. Manny Machado officially a Dodger. I feel like I can with those two two sources, I can now now officially comment on this. <laughs> Everyone was saying it was official, but it was, you know, Ken Rosenthal, Bob Nightingale, you know, two legit dudes, John Hyman, you know, so I, so, so Heyman, and I was just like, eh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see until we get, and then ESPN said it was official, had Manny and Dodgers gear, and then, um, and then I got a notification from the LA Times, so I feel like it's safe to say that, hey, I'm happy about Manny Machado being a Dodger. It's a it's a huge move. I think it'll it'll get them over the hump to hopefully win the division and then go deep into the playoffs. Maybe even uh maybe even get to the World Series again. No, Joe. I can scream like a girl and joy. No, joy will only happen when the Dodgers win the World Series. That's where the bar is at, Joe P. That's where the bar is at, my friend. Last time they won was 1988, boss man. Been a while. Been a while. Uh, Joe Flores, yes, commons do not ship. So no vet base. RCs will ship. Inserts will ship. Hits obviously will ship. All right. Now there will be, so like inserts like this will ship. Obviously the rated rookies. And the refractors, of course, will ship. So like that Chris Archer, that J.D. Martinez won't ship. But if it was refractors, it would ship. And we've got out of 35, Shohei Otani autograph. Whoa! Out of the first box, burn the rest. <laughs> Fire already, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Tillman who bought the Angels straight up gets an on-card rated rookie autograph of Shohei Otani 15 out of 35. Do we need to do the rest of the break? I got a little bit of dust caught in there too, Jeremy. Sorry. Let's use a different top loader. Keep it nice and clean. All right, so Otani count, one. There it is. That was early, too. Was not expecting that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was like the Mike Jaspi auto that we pulled last year. And then we've got an Alex Verdugo autograph. So both of the SoCal teams, the Angels were like a million dollars, Joe P. So what a – but we only sold it for a couple hundred bucks. So what a steal. Um 44 out of 125, we discounted it from a million down to like 150 or something. I actually don't know. Verdugo, 
For my Dodgers, that'll be Nicholas Leslie with my Dodgers. He was not involved. He's one of the big prospects not involved in the Machado trade, which was a little surprising. Could be involved in another future trade. Yeah, yeah, boss man Eric Jennings got fired up by that Otani back there. We've got Andrew McCutcheon, Kutch. So it's obviously stuff like this will ship because it's a the nickname variation right there. We'll sleeve those up, and then we'll uh, we'll top load those before they get sent out. There's Eddie Matthews, Miguel Cabrera, Miggy. Just in the interest of time, we'll just soft sleeve them, and then our our shipping team will know to top load them, get them out. So out of 99, Mound Marvels, Verlander, there's the Dirt Bike Rider, Madison Bumgarner, 199 for the Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo, the Miggy for the Tigers, and then the Eddie Matthews for the uh, Milwaukee Braves, 181 out of 199. All right, let's set those right here. So nice start right here with the Otani. We'll leave him right there. Next box. Jose saying, it's a done deal, Joe. Manny Machado to the Dodgers. I know. Over under on how many people will tell me that Machado is, is officially signed to the Dodgers, as if we don't watch the news. Now, Joe P's only salty, Jose, because Joe P's like, old news, Jose. Joe P's only salty because it, the Diamondbacks didn't get him, Jose. I'm happy. Absolutely thrilled. Or to use a uh, to use British slang, chuffed, absolutely chuffed. That's what they say. No, it's all good, man. You're you're excited. I get it. Uh, Jeremy Tillman had the Angels, Robert Rohr. So I'm sure where whenever he watches this, he'll be happy. Joe P, I, I, I have to admit that that when the the uh, when the Orioles were saying that there was some medical stuff that was holding up the trade, I was just like, oh man, it would be just my luck for the Diamondbacks to to pip Manny Machado to pip him away from the Dodgers, land on the snakes, and have Joe P and Arthur just crow for like the next month. I was worried about that. Did the Dodgers give up way too much, asked Jose? No, not at all. I think last year it, it would have started with like Walker Bueller or Julio Urias. You know what I mean? But the fact that Yusniel Diaz is like the big prospect there. And listen, he's kind of a great outfield prospect in a crowded outfield. So I think it was a good move. I mean, at some point... All those prospects that the Dodgers are loaded up on, they're not going to turn into all-stars. Not all of them are going to be starters. Not all of them are going to have space on the team. So at some point, you gotta you got to bite the bullet. you got to pull the trigger, especially if someone like Machado becomes available and if they fit for that team. So I'm happy with it. I know some people are going to be salty about losing some prospects, but how long are we supposed to wait for using El Diaz? <laughs> you know what I mean? Another three, four years? You know, There's always going to be hot prospects, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, Anthony Stantner for the Baltimore Orioles. That's our first auto. So we'll breeze through these. So let's get him loaded up. Rated rookie auto for Anthony Frank and the O's. How much is that Otani card worth? I don't know. Well, it's out of 35, so it's a pretty low number. I'm sure it covers the spot. Actually, Joe P. was actually curious too. What did the Angels go for? No, in Ginter, it was 90 per half case. And in Optic, yeah, we charged a couple hundred bucks for it. 199.99. It's not bad. Yeah, he's got to get money back plus, right? Double, maybe? Maybe 350, 400. I could see that. Uh, there's Kirsch to 99. 11 out of 99. There's Kershaw again. That's a Diamond Kings insert out of two ninety nine. 
No, I said the Angels are worth a million dollars, Joe P, but we discounted it to 200 bucks. What a deal. Clint Frazier. Nice Clint Frazier autograph for Ed Aarons and the Yankees. TJ, who uh, who most of you know by now, is uh, with the Dodgers AA team out in Tulsa saying that, hey, I like the guy, hate to see Eusenio Diaz go, but he was the right man for the trade. I'm okay with it. Sometimes you gotta, what do they say? You gotta, you gotta break some eggs to make an omelet. There's Reese Hoskins, year in review. It was a pretty hot summer for him last year. Still hitting well. All right, so there is box number two in the books. Keep this guy right here. Right, we're, we we want to win the title now, Jose. You're absolutely right. I think maybe like when when the when uh the new ownership took over from Frank McCourt, that was like nearly that was what 15 years of Fox ownership and McCourt ownership, and that just really just destroyed the Dodgers farm system. There was no future philosophy. There was no, uh, you know, there there was no real goals or or organizational philosophy, but I think now that's kind of all been settled with the ownership and the new front office and the new coach, and I think finally Dodgers are kind of putting themselves in a position to you know, be like the Yankees of the West. Uh, we have had some hot cases lately, TC. There's more on jazbeeshobbyland.com, ladies and gentlemen. Joe P saying that the retro orange to 30 on eBay for Otani. Someone's asking $595. Clemson Card saying it's worth a little over $300, says eBay, he says. Trevor Thomas, this is true, quote, wanting to win now, not three years from now. Dodgers since 2012. Yeah, that's, that is true. This year's our year. How about that? <laughs> that's another one. Took the Brooklyn Dodgers... A long time to win their first World Series. And then they won it. Maybe a couple times and then they left Brooklyn. <laughs> so maybe the Dodgers will win a couple times and they'll go back to Brooklyn. What if that happens? It's not going to happen. Trevor Thomas saying, I remember the Tigers were in win-now mode. They got swept in the World Series twice. Man, I was so bummed when you guys lost to the... <laughs> to the Giants, that made me that made me sad. I had um, I have I have a friend. She's uh, she's from Michigan. She was watching. We were watching the World Series together, bringing some Tiger solidarity to it because I didn't want to see the Giants win, but then they did. There's Yachty. Is that right, Eric Jennings? I know they had their own zip code. But I didn't realize it was the only stadium to have its own zip code. Eric Jennings saying Dodger Stadium is the only stadium in Major League Baseball to have its own zip code. There's out of 199. I did not realize that. We'll save these Otanis too. I'm sure some of those base cards will, will have some value. Well, hey, I mean, you can't win a World Series unless you get to one, right? So... All right, out of two ninety nine, Aaron Judge. There's the Otani. There's Dustin Fowler, and we've got a Francisco Mejia, rated rookie autograph. Nice, Jerry Bennington with the Tribe. That is also three out of thirty five. There's EJ saying he heard it on a Baseball Tonight podcast last week. Beltray, 3000 Hit Club, and Walker Bueller autograph for the Dodgers. Nicholas Leslie, Los Angeles Dodgers, future ace, Walker Bueller. 
Um, I think his Twitter handle, Boss Man, uh, makes reference to that. I think it's like at Bueller's Day Off or something like that. Uh, yeah, it is in the middle of the stadium. Is in the middle of nowhere, Joe P. It's a, uh, it's an, it's on a Elysian Park, which is kind of a a large hill just north of downtown Los Angeles. I think that's where the, uh, I think that's where the police academy is. The LAPD police academy has facilities there. I think the fire department has some has some facilities there as well. I think there's a, a, a disc golf course near there, uh, around there too, although I've never been to it. For fear of rattlesnakes. I'll have to, I'll have to wear some sort of boots. No, I'm kidding. I don't, I'm not really worried about rattlesnakes. Dylan saying, what, Bryce Harper to the Giants next? Well, actually, this is a good question, baseball fans. Should the Nationals trade Bryce Harper? I mean, kind of doesn't look like they're going it, to... It, it, it kind of looks like they're not going to overtake the Phillies or the Braves, right? So if that's the case, and you're going to lose Bryce Harper for nothing in free agency, do you trade Bryce Harper? Joe P says, one of these days, I'm going to go to Dodger Stadium decked out in Diamondbacks gear. Joe P, I'll be happy to pick you up from the hospital afterwards. So that's my, that's my courtesy. Just give me a call. Joe, I'm at the hospital. I'll pick you up. Joe Flores says, no, don't trade Bryce Harper. Well, and then just lose him to free agency for nothing? All right, see you, boss man. See you tomorrow. Congrats on that old time. It's looking good up there. Yeah, it looks great. Wow. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. We've got Nick Williams, orange. Ben and Tendi. Uh, I don't know why that must be a variation, so I'll set that aside. Reese Hoskins, autograph, nice one for the Phillies. That'll be for Sen Yin with the Philadelphia Phillies. Nice Reese Hoskins, on card auto. Joe P says ain't going down without a fight. I know Joe P, you're a tough guy, but nevertheless, I'll, I'll be happy to pick you up from the hospital afterwards. Patrick Goodwin, you've got some very curiously bad takes. <laughs> Harper to the Angels for Mike Trout. Yeah, that's let's let's get a rental. <laughs> I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna continue. That that we'll just leave that sitting there. Trevor Thomas says doesn't sound like the Nationals want to re-sign Harper, so they might as well trade him. I think so too. You haven't heard Bossman talk that much since you've been here. Yeah, I guess I guess he had a light day today. He's he's usually he's usually on the on the phone making deals left and right. And then we've got Alex Verdugo, another rated rookie autograph for Nicholas Leslie and my Dodgers, little Dodger Joe Mojo. Nice one. So Hoskins and Verdugo on this. We have not seen hot boxes yet, boys and girls. Yeah, I agree, Joe Flora. Bryce not close. To, I don't even shouldn't even have to comment on that. Clearly, clearly, Patrick Goodwin either doesn't know what he's talking about or he's just trolling. He's also like eleven. So his 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 uh his baseball negotiating skills not very strong. Looking back, Manny Machado, Brooks Robinson, Brooks Robinson, one of Bossman's favorite players, seventy two out of one forty nine for the O's. And I think these were flipped around. I don't know why, but I'm assuming there's some sort of variation. So we'll we'll sleeve those up too, and they'll get top loaded before they get sent out. Oh right, you're fourteen, Patrick.
All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. So now Trevor Thomas was saying earlier, doesn't sound again, doesn't sound like the Nationals want to re-sign Bryce Harper. So <laughs> Kyle Kramer, remember, he's he's 13. Um sorry, 14. So Trevor Thomas is saying, so might as well trade him. So if you trade him, what value does Bryce Harper have right now? Now obviously, I think the I think the Nationals should trade him. Otherwise, they get no value out of him, aside from getting a draft pick when when uh, when Harper gets signed by another team. So, what do you give up if you are in need of Bryce Harper services? So, Kyle Kramer, Harper to the Mariners. So, like, what would what what would the Mariners give up? What would the Nationals actually accept? Next box. Good luck, everybody. Cano for Harper. <laughs> what are you? What are you, Patrick? All right. Ryan McMahon out of thirty-five. Nice one for the Rockies. That goes to Chris Parent, Ken Griffey Jr. Out of this world. Oh, well, this might be the hot box. Chris Sale red. So here's the parallel hot box. There's Brian Dozier, blue. Luis Gohara for the Braves. Ryan Braun, Diamond Kings. We've got Mitch Garver, rated rookie autograph for the Twins. That'll be for Chris Wilson. There's Aaron Judge. We'll sleeve all the Miguel Sano for the Twins. Justin Boer, Diamond Kings. Freddie Freeman, Adrian Beltre, Steven Strasburg, Chris Archer, Kutch Refractor, Garrett Cole, Christian Yelich, Nolan Arenado, Nicky Delmonico, Adam Jones. They got to trade him too, right? Adam Jones, Alex Bregman, Jonathan Gray. Mookie Betts and Mookie Betts again. Nice. Mookie Betts out of 299, 138 out of 299. Jonathan Gray, 169 out of 299. Bregman. Nice. Love the love the parallel hot boxes. Let's see Adam Jones. Delmonico for the White Sox. Aaron Arenado's a free agent after this season, the next season. Jeremy, I just saw what Jeremy Merle said. He said, Bryce Harper to the Warriors. He probably would, wouldn't it? Just keep building that super team. That 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 Golden State Warriors uh, league softball team, that beer league team is going to be pretty great with Bryce Harper on that Warriors squad. But ultimately, I think Eric Jennings is right. It's going to be a lot. We'll have to do do with uh, what the national, how the Nationals play coming out of the All Star break. Now, if they look like they're going to battle for a playoff spot, yeah, I think Bryce Harper will stay. If if they if they don't do well by the by the waning weeks of July, then you they might entertain some offers. Right? <laughs> Jeremy Rose, like having Harper show up to a beer league softball game would be fun. Imagine. Like like the these NBA players are in the off season or having some playing a little softball, you know? And then the Warriors show up with Bryce Harper, who they just signed to a basketball contract. And then they're just like, oh, come on. In softball too? Really? All 
right, we'll slide those there. Get the autographs tucked away over here. There was that Otani getting close to the bottom, so we're going to move him aside. Sorry, Otani. Keep you right here. We'll take a picture of that. At Jaspie's Hobby on Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobby on Instagram. I'm sure we'll post that. That's right. Thank you, Patrick, for keeping count. Two autographed hot boxes are left, and then one more parallel hot box. So I don't know. Bryce Harper, if you trade him, it's kind of weird. You know what Bryce Harper can do, but what he's doing this season, not so great. He's hitting about 2 220 or something like that. Imagine a Yankees outfield of Bryce Harper, Aaron Judge, and Giancarlo Stanton. That would be kind of ridiculous. Would you have Judge play center? Maybe Harper would play center, right? Trevor Thomas says, Harper to the Yanks for Gardner, Floriel, and Sheffield. I think they could get more for that. No? No, maybe not. As a rental, probably not. I don't think the Yankees want to give up Justice Sheffield, right? Jordan Sheffield's brother? Jordan Sheffield in the Dodgers organization. All right, next box, boys and girls. Um, after this box, we are halfway there, so about another half hour left in this break. So after this, I only see a few orders coming in. So after this, we're gonna have to see uh, we're gonna have to see where we're gonna go from here. Greg Allen, Spectre basketball looks pretty nice. We did a two box break a little bit earlier today. There's Greg Allen for the Tribe, not numbered, Indians. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. There's Greg Allen again, Refractor. Trevor Thomas, TT, saying, I think the Yanks sign him. I know they don't care about money or a crowded lineup. They don't. Do they care about defense, though? There's Tony Gwynn, RIP. That defense might not be that great. <laughs> that outfield defense. I guess they could make up for it with the bats. Out of 229 or 299, Tony Gwynn for the Padres. There's Kutch, nickname and blue. Freddie Freeman. Out of 149. Ozzy Albius, rated rookie blue for the Braves. There's Otani. We'll save one of those. And we've got. Another Walker Bueller autograph, rated rookie refractor. Walker Bueller. Nice. Not numbered, but very solid. Nicholas Leslie with the, that Dodger Joe Mojo. Nice. You should, Kyle. Kyle Kyle's like, hey, thinking about getting in. We got a random team break that's that's uh, only twenty bucks for a two box break, I think. So that's not too not too shabby. Low risk, high reward. Pick your teams as well. Yeah, I know. I, I, that's why I checked myself. Kyle was like, Harper, Judge, and Sand, do, they re do you really need defense at that point? Probably not. It's the Yankees. Yeah, no, it's the Yankees. It's Trevor. They're, they just care about being the Bronx Bombers. Fair enough. All right, next box. Well, uh, what other moves do you think are going to happen, folks? You got teams like the Royals. That's George Brett right there. Teams like the Royals. Maybe want to. Maybe are they going to move some guys? A guy? You already moved one guy, a reliever, to the uh, Nats, I think. 
You know, a lot of teams who want to retool, rebuild. Do surprise teams like the Phillies or the uh, Braves, what do they do? Young team, but play, both teams playing very well. This might be another parallel hotbox. It is, I think. Um, what do they do? What do the Brewers do? Brewers atop of the uh, NL Central, I believe. Even with a bit of a bit of a slump going into the All Star break, but they're still atop there. What do, what do they do? Do they add some pieces? They got to move Adam Jones from the Orioles, right? The Jays are selling says Curtis. Well, they got to move Josh Donaldson, Troy Tulowitzki, make way for the new guys. So I think there may be a lot. I mean, I think this this Machado deal is really just the first domino of many. I think leading to the trading deadline, the non waiver trading deadline at the end of the month. Trevor saying, hopefully the Tigers get rid of Fulmer and Castellanos and rebuild the Tiger system a little bit. Gilo saying, we're on the streets. Mustakis to the Yankees. Philly interested in Whit Merrifield. All right, so we'll set these parallels aside right here. Syndergaard, King Felix. Nolan Arenado, All-Stars. Then we got Fergie Jenkins, significant signatures. Nice one for the Cubs. Paul Cool Whit with the old Fergie Jenkins. Classic. Hall of Famer, right? Dustin Fowler, rated rookie. Jay Happ would certainly be moved, right? There's Dallas Keuchel. There's another parallel hot box. Chance Sisko. JD Martinez. What a what a pickup by the Red Sox in that one. Then we got Victor Robles, rated rookie, on-card autograph for EA Sports. Happy birthday, EA Nationals. Another hit for you. Javier Baez. So these are all the parallels that I'll sleeve up in just a second. Carlos Martinez. We've got Orlando Arcia. Nicky Delmonico, that's out of 99. Dallas Keuchel, Dozier, Brian Edition. Granite, not marble. And Kyle Schwarber. A few more here. Granite again, not sandstone. Scherzer, old two eyes. And Clayton Kershaw. All right, let's leave all these up. Hamels or Hat Reunion in Philly. Could be interesting. Yeah, Jay Happ is having a pretty solid season, actually. Where does where would he end up? I don't know what the I don't know what my Dodgers are gonna do after this. I think a lot of fans are clamoring for starting pitching, but I don't think the Dodgers really agree. The front, I don't think the front office agrees. There's actually a lot of starters. I think they want to shore up that bullpen. So I don't know, and that could come from you know any number of places. So I, I can't even begin to speculate who would be available, um, but. It'd be interesting to see. Fulmer to the Yankees for Clint Frazier. It's not a bad. That's actually not a bad move. They don't need Clint Frazier, right? Doesn't seem like it. Clint Frazier, pretty still a pretty big prospect, which is crazy to think that he may be expendable in the Yankees. Jays aren't going to trade. In, in the division, they're not going to help the Yankees get better with Jay Hab, that's for sure. So that's probably out. You know, the Brewers need starting pitching. A Jay Hab on the Brew Crew, that could help. If you argue that the Brewers are kind of playing playing above uh, above what people are expecting, then maybe now's the time to strike while that iron is hot. And there's Tavares out of 149. There you go. Another our set. That's our second parallel hot box. And so now we're just looking for uh, two autograph hot boxes. 
What's going on here? Maybe the packs must have shifted around. Joe Flores says the Strohs need to beef up the bullpen. I thought they had a decent bullpen. Maybe not, actually. I feel like the, the bullpen struggles are similar to, to sort of the Dodgers' bullpen struggles. Correct, Jeremy. There are two autograph and two parallel hot boxes per case. So we've gotten the two uh, we've gotten the two uh, parallel ones, so we're just looking for the two autograph ones. Gilo saying Moustakis makes sense for the Yankees. Would. So what do the Royals ask? Clint Frazier? Maybe more? Another pitcher, maybe? Sheffield? So Jeremy's saying that those bottom two on the right are the autograph hot boxes, these guys? Or these these the that bottom row right there? Oh, these two? Are the, so it's been the same four box in every case? All right. Gilo saying, yeah, the checklist for Optic is nuts. It's, it's a big checklist. See that? That sharpie doesn't help. How about this this one? Hot. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Red Thunder. Red Thunder. All right, there you go. Clint Frazier. Speaking of Clint Frazier, this is Anthony Rizzo to 149. And then we've got Felix Jorge for the Minnesota Twins. That'll be for Chris Wilson and the Twins. Gene Segura and Kevin Maiton. Angels edition of Kevin Maiton. That's nice. That goes to Jeremy Tillman. Remember, the Braves lost him. This is the rated prospect autograph. Braves lost him uh, when they were found to be kind of skirting around the, the international bonus money rules. That got one of the front office guys banned from baseball for life. Their Scherzer are $2.99. This is about an hour-long break. We've got about 20 minutes to go. So that, that Miggy will ship, by the way, since it's a nickname one. Nolan Ryan. And those refractors like Tony Gwynn will ship too. All right, so Texas Nolan Ryan. Out of 149. Old Two Eyes, Max Scherzer to 299. Rizzo out of 149. And Clint Frazier. That's a refractor. So much buzz around Maiton for a while, then he just disappeared. Well, he got he got uh, ousted all the way to Los Angeles. So he's kind of working through the Angels organization. I think he's still very young. I think he's only maybe only like eighteen or nineteen years old. 
So I think he's still a few years, still a few years out from uh, from debuting in the majors. But I think the the buzz. I mean, if 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 what everyone says is true, the buzz should reignite around Kevin Maiton when he finally makes his debut with the Angels. Angels don't have a lot of, uh, they don't have a very deep farm system. They do have a couple, a few good, some standout pieces in their farm system, but it's just not very deep. So they'll be counting on those young guys coming up the ranks whenever they shed that Albert Pujols contract, if ever. Um... Baseball question for you guys. Do you think uh, you think Mike Sosha should be should, you think the Angels and Mike Sosha should part? There you go, Ehrlich. Yes. Out of box one. Not to say Mike Sosha is a bad a bad manager, but maybe they just need a, a fresh voice in that organization. I think Sosha's been there in the Angels for like, what, 15 years or something like that? He may be the longest tenured manager in baseball. I don't think there's anyone that's close. Samuelson said they should lose him. They need a new manager. Yeah, they, I don't think he's a bad manager, but I think they could just use a new voice in the organization as they kind of shift gears, try to keep Trout. Their signature series, Carlos Correa for the Astros. Nice one, Adam Wilson. Adam Wilson with the Strohs. Should they trade Mike Trout? Restock that farm system. I don't think they will, though. They should, but you kind of can't. There he is right there, Mike Trout. His ears were burning. There's Kutch, blue, parallel. And Luis Gohara, rated rookie autograph for the Bravos. Jeremy Tillman with the Braves. Jack Flaherty, rated rookie refractor. Gilo says <laughs> Trout can manage the team himself. Player coach? When's the last time there was a player coach? Wow! Wow! That was unexpected. The second to last card of this box, Cody Bellinger, super. Dodger Joe Mojo for Nicholas Leslie. Weren't the Dodgers a late pickup? Wow. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That is a beaut. That looks nice. Damn nice. So we've got an Otani, a train whistle. Nice break. This has been a great case. And we haven't even seen the we haven't even seen the autograph hot boxes yet. All right, good luck. Eric Jenny says Phillies would make a big push for Mike Trout. I think he's a free agent after 2020. I think he is too. He's got a what, few few more years, two, three more years in his deal. Something like that. And I think he'll still be pretty young when he, when he can re-up that contract. Phillies should make a big push for Mike Trout. Real Sci-Fi helping me out with the trivia. Yes, the last player manager was Pete Rose, right? That's what I thought. Pete Rose was the last, last player manager. Not too many of those in baseball. Or at least successful ones.
Why Trout? Do you, do you think Trout would go to Philadelphia? See, because sometimes sometimes players don't want to go back home because there's a lot of there's a lot of ad additional pressure. You know, go all the way out there, back home, old friends, maybe not 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 so not so good friends coming out of the woodwork, asking for tickets. Everyone's family asking for tickets. All your cousins and second cousins and fourth cousins and all that stuff. Becomes kind of a kind of a big big thing. All right, Jose Ramirez reveals a Corey Kluber signature series for the tribe. Jerry Bennington. Wow, Gilos with a with a spicy take. Yeah, cousins cleaning ladies like, hey, uh, you know Mike? Can I get some tickets? Out of twenty five. Uh, that goes to Jerry Bennington once again and the Indians. So it could could be a could be a hassle. Aaron Judge out of this world. Chilo Trout to the Yankees, twenty twenty. That'd be crazy. Rated rookie Otani. Kershaw. And Kyle Farmer for the Dodgers. Another Dodger for Nicholas Leslie. What a break for Nicholas. Kershaw, by the way, is out of 299. And the Aaron Judge out of this world parallel out of 99. And we got Reese Lightning. Go, Reese Lightning, go. Aaron Judge Refractor. Carlos Martinez and Freddie Freeman at the end. Looks like the autograph hot boxes are those two boxes. So they've all been those two boxes? Hot or not, should be hot. Mothra saying you'll we'll have to wait because I think the Pujols contract is up in 2020. Well, Pujols wouldn't have anything to do with Trout's contract. So the top two boxes on the on the parallel. Hot, so if you're doing so if you're doing uh, personal boxes and it's from a fresh case, be sure to pick the right ones, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have personal box here at jazbeeshobbyland.com, I'm afraid, but we do have full case breaks. And there's more in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Used, used extra glue on these packs. Must, must have been a fresh glue machine. And after this, I think... Uh, Someone was saying, sorry, I forgot who was saying this, but I think hockey sold out. So we'll do uh, hockey a few minutes after this break, and then we'll see what else we can work on tonight, folks. Busy new release night, ladies and gentlemen. We've already got a lot of breaks uh, under our belts already. Some hefty breaks. We're we've got Spectra in the store, Allen and Ginter, Donner's Optic Ultimate Collection, all sorts of things, folks. And Jeremy Merle saying, Spectra, pick your team one in single digits. Nice. Well, get at it, folks. My advice to you, ladies and gentlemen, especially on new release night, don't worry about what uh, what people are getting into because they're going to be getting to new releases. Everyone will be. So just go to the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Start picking up your, your spots, your teams, and let's get to breaking. All right, there's Jimmy Scherfe for the Diamondbacks. Torsten. All the way in Germany, getting this snake. Six out of 75. Last spot mojo strikes again. Then we've got Austin Hayes. For some reason, I wanted to say it was Cabrian Hayes, but 
It's not. They look completely different. Uh, 23 out of 50 on that Austin Hayes for the O's. Anthony Frank with the Orioles. We've got Zach Granite, Minnesota Twins. That'll go to Chris Wilson and the Twinkies. There's Kenley Jansen. Then we've got Albert Almora Jr. Signature Series autograph for the Cubbies. Paul Cool Whitlock. Alex Verdugo Refractor. Gene Segura. And we've got out of 10. That card is gold. Optic Autographs. Casey Gillespie. For the Tampa Bay Rays, Alex Donnelly on the board with a nice low number on this auto. Rays are kind of surprisingly having a very nice season. George Brett out of 99. Giancarlo Stanton, that's Miami edition. Tony Gwynn, and there's Bryce Harper, Diamond Kings. All right, that's out of 149 for the Marlins, and the Royals, of course, will get that one. That'll be Kip with the Royals out of 99. Here are your hot box autos with one nice low-numbered one. And, yes, it is a hot box, our second... And final hot box of the case and our final box. Thanks for playing, everybody. Appreciate everybody getting into this break. We've got more Pick Your Teams in the store and then more after that. So once all those on the site on jazbeeshobbyland.com fill up, we'll just keep posting more until we run out. Same with Spectra. Same with Allen and Ginter. Same with Ultimate Collection Hockey. So keep it going, ladies and gentlemen. I like these long breaks sometimes because, uh, well, I like Optic in general just because there's a lot of autographs and a lot of parallels and hot boxes to kind of keep your attention. Even though this is an hour-long break, it, it does a good job keeping your attention and mine. And it's a good chance for us to kind of do some uh, talking about, about baseball. Sometimes some breaks are too fast. You don't have time to kind of really break down some thoughts for me to get your thoughts on some some baseball topics, but it's nice to do that. So thanks, everyone. Got more in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got plenty of time for a lot more breaks. Um, we've got, um, I think we usually we usually go to 11 o'clock Pacific. Now, I, I was telling everybody earlier, if we keep filling up breaks, I'll try to go as late as I possibly can until I pass out or until my hands fall off. All right. Good luck, everybody. Last autograph hot box. There's Mitch Garver for the Twins, blue. Chris Wilson with another one. 24 out of 75. Uh-oh. Jerry Merle's like, uh, Jerry Merle's like, that sounds like a challenge. Jeremy Nicola's like, that sounds like a challenge to me. Keep Joe Jaspi ripping until 2 a.m. Pacific. If 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 I if there's any East Coasters still up at 5 a.m. on a school night, <laughs> on a work night, another Cody Bellinger, Rookie of the Year, year in review. That card is gold. Nicholas Leslie getting that Dodger Joe mojo. That's out of 10. Two out of 10. Nice. There's Bryce Harper. Out of 299 for the Nationals, EA. There's Tyler Maley. Those are so that's our second auto. Should have a few more in this hot box. Nice one for the red legs. That goes to Stephen K. Stephen K on the board.
Giancarlo Stanton. We've got Willie Calhoun for the Texas Rangers. That goes to EA and the Rangers. This is Yankees edition of Giancarlo Stanton at a 149. There's Moro Otani. There's Thomas Nito for the Mets. That'll be for Jeremy 33 and the Metropolitans. I think that's it. No, one more. And it's going to be Starling Marte. Signature series for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain. Oh, wait. <laughs> wasn't, uh, wasn't Steel Curtain saying that... Uh, just popped into my head, Mike. I just remembered this, that Bryce Harper was going to go to the Pirates. If Bryce Harper goes to the Pirates. That would be pretty crazy. Bryce Harper's just like, yeah, you know, just want to go to a nice old school, classic blue collar team. You never know. I don't know. Bryce Harper could, could, could go anywhere. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. No randomizers, nothing else to do. That was a nice box and a nice case filled with an Otani to 35 and a Cody Bellinger 1 of 1 Super Fractor. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was break number one, full case break. We've got more in the store. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.